it's going to take a second until you see it. Right. And we have to start the shot from the beginning, which is sad because we were literally almost done with it. If I recall, our strategy was something along the lines of Titania and... Was it Boyd? No. No, Boyd went no, with Ike. It was Titania and Oscar that we were using. And then Soren. And we also had Soren. We had Soren also go with them. Oh, okay. But then we got caught by the reinforcements and we had to retreat. That sounds like a problem for, in three turns, me. Are the items the way they need to be? No, they're not, but, well, it's not like anybody needs a poleaxe. Here, you can have a poleaxe. Happy birthday, Reese. She's looking fine. He's looking fine. It's about the best we're gonna get, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Also, in true unprofessional strat strategy, I did not balance the audio before we began. I really hope it's still set to what it was last time. Oh, that's right. These guys all suck. Wow. Far call, we had Tanya go in deep enough to pull everything that isn't the armor nice, right? Uh, yeah. But we had to kill the one guy along the way. Yeah. Wait, no. Do we really need to have her go around? What do you mean? Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, she'll still make it to exactly the spot we want her to be. Yeah. Now, big question. Will we get lucky with the thief this time? Oh yeah, we might actually kill him this time. It's like we were able to catch him up top with Gatry and... What's his name last time? Neither of these guys have 1-2 range and that annoys me. Also, this uh, soldier is not dying and that also annoys me. How much damage does he do to Soren? I'll check. Ow. I mean, it's not a kill. No? You have a turn to pop a vulnerary. Bonk. Ow. Reese, stand somewhere you're not getting fucked. Works for me. Now here's the annoying thing, these both have 1-2 range. Do I charge Ike in just so that they can get in there next turn, or do I just leave him outside the range? It's not like his move's gonna get him close enough next turn anyways. Yeah. Maybe I should sidestep this guy's range? This that's, guy. a two, that's a two gap, two wide gap there, right? What do you mean? Yeah, no potentially funneling them through so that they have to attack in melee range. Nah, because yeah. it's a two way, way gap, yeah. Unfortunate. So should I just park Ike right outside the 
Right, the range of the hand axe, but outside of the range of the jab. I think I should do that. Mm. Yeah. Then I don't want Boyd to get attacked at all. Oh. You. Ow. Chip experience. Hey. He leveled up off it. Strength and speed. You got speed. And magic. Not strength, though. I wanted strength because obviously that would make his tome weigh him down less. Well, yeah. But still, that was a an uncommonly good sword level up. Oh yeah, it was pretty good. We got an uncommonly good void level up last time we played this, but unfortunately that's obviously not in the current timeline. Smart enough to know not to attack Titania. Ha. <laughs> Alright, we already saw this dialogue in the last stream, so we don't need to do a see it again. Then wasn't our strat to go ah and attack this guy? Yeah. Well, last time we didn't do that. <laughs> so this time, let's do that. Wow, that's a good hit rate. Oh, you know, I just thought of something. Yeah. I don't think we're in that much danger to just do this, though. Yeah, and we'll have Reseal Soren and have Oscar poke the guy and back off. I don't think he can. Based on the range, he'll still be in range of a lot. Like, can he really hit and then Kanto out of this range? I don't think so. I don't know if it's a chance of death, though. It might not be a chance of death. <laughs> 14 and 12 off of a 9 defense. That's, a uh, what, 5 and 3? Yeah. That's only 8. Oh! Th that's not a chance of death. We're fine. Wait, wait, hold up. How much does this slow you down? Four. Nothing can have ten speed. We're fine. This to be some pretty good chip experience for Oscar. Oh, hey! <laughs> That's awesome. Um, that might not have been, might have been my, that might not have been my best play, though. And now you're just kind of wasting javelin uses. Doesn't the Slum Sword, like, have a slightly higher crit chance? Do you really want to go for that? Nah. I was just... I was just checking. Ideal timeline. I get rid of this asshole, and then plug the gap up with Void. Do you agree? Yeah. A 
Also, it didn't even matter if that guy missed because he would have done zero Dude, damage. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of ouch for Boyd. I highly doubt he faces a chance of death, though. Oh, hey, I can't even perfectly plug the gap. Rip. I plugged the gap from the majority of the enemies, though, and I think that's good enough. Plant her here and have her vulnerary. Yeah. Nice. Could have sworn that guy had a nice. javelin. Now he had a steel lance. Oh, was it the other guy who had a javelin? Why do I already have a ping on Discord? Oh, him. That eh, could be problems. That, yeah, this is annoying. She's getting boxed in. Well, she could kill the guy and run out. If? I'm not even if. sure if Titania Steel Axe can finish one of those Armor Knights off. They're bulky, dude. No, she can finish off the guy she more than half health. Like, the guy only had 24 health and she did 8 damage per. So he's at 8 now. Okay, and they boxed her in anyway, so the points moot. Ah! That's probably a bad idea. Eh, not that bad. What, a steel bow? Maybe a javelin? I guess he can run back quite a bit, can't he? Yeah. RNG. Thank you. Yay! Get that sweet thief experience. Tell you what, does she just... She probably steel axes here, just... So that the bow guy attack, bow and javelin guy will attack her if she uses one range, cause AI. Yeah. Should I get rid of the beefier one? I'd say get rid of the one that could potentially target Oscar. That one. Now let's see. Let's play the game. Where are we planting our mage? Oh. Well, okay. Don't shove him. <laughs> hey, do you want to throw Mia down there just to help deal with the reinforcements? That's not a bad idea, actually. I can Boyd got this 100%. Yeah. Because they make a very good team. I probably kill the bow guy, to be honest. Cause enemy phase, you know. Yeah. Do it. Ow. That smarts. A little bit. We're actually gonna get rid of like a lot of these guys so that Titania has a chance to help with the reinforcements. I know, right? I'd say this is going way better than last time. It really is. I guess we just now that we know what happens, we're play playing better. You really don't want to go after Oscar? Are you sure? Yeah, my legs hurt. <laughs> Do I kill? Do I kill Raw? Maybe. Nope. Ah, so close. Don't don't even say it. Oscar cannot kill him. He can't even damage him. I guarantee you. Wait, was it next turn? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, Oscar oh. can do fourteen damage, which. Oh. Oh. Well, would you look at that? 
Oh, would you look at that? Steel bow is. I'm more afraid of steel bow than I am of javelin. No RNG. You're dying. Do I plant her up here so that she gets some more attention? I don't see. I don't see why not. Right between the gets and the armor. <laughs> yep. Come on, Oscar. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh yes. This pleases me. I need to make sure that that's... I'm probably not moving anybody here. Unless you want me to get Soren in there. Um. Why not? Soren might. I, well, I don't remember. I remember the two guys there, but don't don't some more reinforcements come from the stairs to the left? I don't know. Didn't happen on our run, at least. I want to say it did happen. I don't remember exactly. I think it'd be fine to plant Soren here. He's in a better position. Or should I big braid it and put a, put him completely out of range so that I don't have to worry about healing him? Um, we already moved Mia, so let's just honestly, I'd say just have him stand pat. Back. Well. Hmm. I have his range highlighted, so if he gets more range to be able to attack Risk, I can move Risk. Hmm. This is his max range. Of... I think Titania should have enough move to fall back and help if needed. I'd say have. Yeah, she can get in this range. Oh wait, that's not quite enough, is it? I mean, she can no, like short spear. No, that's yeah. fine if we kill the right guy. Yeah, this is fine. Actually, I think it'd be even more defensible if we have Soren go into the room with Oscar and Titania. Okay. Wee. And then Reese have. We have Reese move those two squares. Should I have Ike go up and around, or, or should I have him go with Boyd through the middle? Who has the chest key? Boyd. I could probably yes. go. What? Honestly, just have the bros stick together. Okay. Ike no, does need a vulnerability this turn. He's looking a bit. Weary. Give me something good. It's not bad. <sighs> we wrote the Tanya hours. Nice when we oh my god. Get I know, right? Or a convoy so I can just. Soren might actually double this guy? Yeah. It'll be so nice when we can actually organize our fucking inventory with a convoy. And cutscene. <laughs> I love this song, okay? It's a good song. We already saw this cutscene, though, so it's fine. That did happen before my internet cut out, I know it did. Who here has a chess key? You. Hey, Shinon. I have a job for you. You have one job. What's his crit, What's his crit weight with the iron bow? 21. Same with the steel. 
So I can just so shoot. So literally fire. the same chance of death. Yeah. And then either way, I can't follow up. Do I literally just iron bow him and fish for the crit? Yeah. Thank you. Then I can do nothing about the fact that he's about to get assaulted by. What? Nothing. Oh, well, fine. They put this L fire mage here specifically to fuck Gatri over. Because Gatri could otherwise literally just charge in here, you know? Yeah. But this Elfire guy says, no. He still gets sweet. Why do books waste so fucking much in this game? Actually, that's not even that much. It's just the fact that your strength stat is what takes away from it. That makes me just feel slower. So yeah, literally 8 speed. Tanya cannot deal with a mage. She could if she wanted to. Actually, can Mia just... Yeah. Ow. Is it Oscar kill hour? Or is it... Hi. I see. Oscar might double. Then who finishes off the mage? We have Soren, we have Titania. I know what my game plan is, but it's weird. Oscar kills Mage. Titania kills other threat in the area, and then blocks off with uh, Oscar's help, maybe. And then Thorin finishes off the Javelin? Well, no, uh... Did I say Thorin? You did say... Actually? He could. No, yeah, he could. He'd be out of the range of the ma vast majority of everything that's able to hurt him. Yeah, no, he 100% could as long as he doesn't die to this. Which he does not. That's not a bad idea, Jay Monkey. Sounds like a plan. Oscar is becoming good, by the way. Yes, this is very good news. Then I plant her specifically. She cannot canto if I put her here, so I need to use a short spear usage. I'll bet that's pretty sad, but when you got you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Actually, wait. Do you even need to? Yeah, no. If she, if Soren kills this guy successfully, it literally doesn't matter. Sixty-nine. <laughs> nice. Do I just... I just axe. Man, why are axes so good in this game? Because it's one of the few games they're not awful. Do I? Oh. That makes things complicated. Does it? <laughs> uh, I feel like that Steelax Soldier would... Or Steelax Knight would punch really hard. Let's see. 18 and 16. What's your defense? 10. So that's 9 and 7 because of Weapon Triangle. That's 16 damage. No, that would be... Yeah, that's it. That's right. I said... What did I say? 16? Yeah, I did. 
That leaves him 8 HP. He does not do more than 8. Ike is literally fine to go sit there with a regal sword. I'll bet it hurts or, a lot. Or the armor slayer. That Boyd just picked up. Mount 7. Mount 8. I see. However, the weight. Yeah, ow. So minus six speed? Yeah, he would go down to four. I, we can't do that. That's not affordable. Why does Armor Slayer weigh 17? What the fuck? That's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah. Well, how fast are the Armor Knights? Doesn't matter. I can't afford for this guy to double me, and he will. Does like two damage per hit. I mean, I get. I guess they wouldn't kill me, but here's the thing. I want them to be gone. I want them to evaporate. They don't evaporate I mean, if I don't still, double them. I mean, they do still get doubled, I think. No. Because... There's no fucking way. Yeah, he doesn't get slowed down at all. Ike drops to four speed. All right, what about the Steel Lance one, though? He would get doubled. So one of them would evaporate. That's not awful. Actually. I think that's worth it. Ugh. Here's hoping the run doesn't end. Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. Provoke at it, provoke at its finest, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, we do two. That's the Steel Lance guy! Yeah. He's not gonna be able to. Wait. I need to do a calculation. That does 12 to you. So it needs to do 25 in total. Double, yep, we have double weapon effect effectiveness, not triple. Yeah. Which would mean this turns into 20 might. With your strength, is, that means 31 damage. With weapon triangle, he actually kills this guy. That's amazing. I'm thinking Ike goes over here and pops a wound. Actually, wait. No. Ike goes right here and gets healed by Riss. Or does he? Yeah. Now we do a really stupid sequence of events. It'd be dumb. Does Oscar push forward or fall back? Uh. Or sideways, even. 
You can afford to push forward. Now, what do we do about this uh, actual clusterfuck? Can you kill the mage? No. We have a lot but of problems here. Jordan can soften up the soldier, then have Mia finish him off. Indeed. I probably should have checked if that was actually the case before I committed to it. I have no doubt that Mia doubles. I'm embarrassed she has to. We just killed the Mage of Titanium and have her go up, right? Yeah. Bonk. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was so oh, three times over. <laughs> yep. Oh, you too. Can I just... You can't attack that spot directly below him, can you? No, you can't. Good. I'm just gonna plug this with a good tree. Nobody here has an armor slayer, right? Bye. When you think about it, the tree is basically Oswin, except not as great. Oh, we should probably get that iron blade off him before he leaves. I would do it with Shinom, but yeah. He kind of also leaves. Titania can do it next turn. Should I even have him open the chest, or should I have him pass the chest key onto Titania? No, Titania doesn't have any inventory space. Who's getting the chest key then? Oscar? He's not in range. Mm. Though not a bad we idea. You can just delay the chapter a bit. Wait, why did I put him right there specifically? So you wouldn't attack Oscar? But I wanted him to. <laughs> Oscar, you need a better lance. That doesn't weigh you down, which doesn't exist yet. You ready for a staring contest? <laughs> Never know, mind. Catri stares way harder. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> It's big brain time. Ah. Oh, oh wait, it's still big brain time. Kanto exists. Wait, is it still big brain time? <laughs> I think it's big brain time. <laughs> Give him the fire to him too. Okay, I want him in range of this thing. Oh. He can still bait it. Take out the hammer. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Trust me, I know. It'd be really nice if Risk could reach her, but oh well. Do I heal Mia? Yeah, I think I heal Mia. I think you heal Mia.
just have Ike on standby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Who has... Oh. Stare. I'm glad Kuchi's getting a couple levels, because it increases the chances of him actually staying alive when we see him again. Bulky. Also, that's an Armor Knight who just leveled Riz. I know, right? I might actually use Katri if he gets clubs like that. <laughs> that, probably not, huh? And if only we had a hand axe to check how much damage the guy would do. Well, I can math that. Oh, uh, yeah. Eleven. And he doesn't double. Yeah, not even... He's not even scary. He does double if I equip a Steel Axe, though, because Steel Axes are so fucking heavy. So, don't equip a Steel Axe. Otherwise, though, this is... 16 plus 11 is less than 29, right? Yeah. Okay. Do I just do this then? Mm, yeah. You're gonna miss anyways. Awesome. <laughs> Chip experience. Just have Icon standby right up here. Yeah. If he gets javelin, he gets javelin. Who cares? Wait, what? Yet. You guys have a talk convo. I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just mashing. <laughs> I could. You could? I think it's relatively safe, too. It is safe. I might even get a 9. Now finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. I thought you were gonna say putting Miracle on Reese. Why would- why? <laughs> <laughs> no, why would I do that? <laughs> because... It's the healers that get Miracle in... Awakening and Fates. I would rather have Miracle on a heavy combat unit. Just in case I fuck up, you know? Oh, oh you're. You might be fucked. Nope. You know what it's time for? Come on, you know what it's time for next turn. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> oh wait, what? Oh. I I did that too quickly. <laughs> God damn it. Yep, that one's even bulkier. If I can kill you, I sh You are fast, sir. Well, first thing I wonder. Oscar wasn't able to hurt him. Why would Mia be able to? <laughs> That's a good question. Do I stuff void? Kill him? Yeah. He does need to be out of the goddamn way. Yeah. Have void killed and Shinon shove void? The boss doesn't move? 
I don't know. Have I committed a war crime? War crimes. I don't think anybody's in one-shot range from anyways. I mean, I've had worse ideas. Oh. I know what to do, actually. Actually, wait, no, you can just... I was gonna say you can just have Gatry give the Iron Blade to Void. He was in range for that. I guess... He's also in range for... Yeah, Soren's probably a better idea. Do I also take his Steel Lance just to be cheeky and his Vulnerary? Yeah, it's only five uses. Oh, to let him have it? Yeah. Resistance 16. Damage 14. Risk does, Risk does not care. Do I have Titania just go maul him? After stealing Shinon's steel bow. And iron bow? Should I steal his iron bow? <laughs> I guess why not, right? Yeah. Um. You could have my three use iron lance. And my. Uh, and my ward. I love knowing things you're not supposed to know. Yeah. That's a lot of EXP. Dog's breath. How? How? That's where we just came from. Where the fuck were they all hiding? Oh shit. This guy. Walks Nate away. Walks away. <laughs> and then Grail's like, I want to fight him.
You know, that is quite literally the equivalent of calling a black man the N-word and then, then saying, sorry, I don't know what else to call you. Yeah. <laughs> Conquest. I mean the only good fates game, and that's only in gameplay. Lol. I should play some of the newer Fire Emblems at some point. <laughs> Three houses. Yeah, one of these days. However, it's one of those super complicated Fire Emblem games. I feel like I'd get choice paralysis. Outside of the little jerky, I've never had, like, a traditional meal of salted meat. I've also ne never had pemmican, either. Those are both foods that used to be extremely common for travel, but now you never see them anymore. Mm-hmm. Because we've learned so many, many other ways of preserving food. Indeed. It's time for you know what. <laughs> mm
mean, Black Knight is using Hex. You can defeat me. And he literally gave you the thing that can actually hurt him. What a fool. Do you Come reckon on, he could have won with that blade? Well, he could have actually done damage. Also, he wouldn't be weapon triangled like that. No charge. No. That's very fair. It's it is a difficult question though because he did you know have the tenons in his sword arm sliced. Don't, don't leave. That said, he probably could have just wielded it with his left hand and still been a very good fighter with it. After all, he's strong enough to take on Patrine with an axe, even though he has a sliced tenon sword arm. So you would think that his stats are probably around Patrine level. Which would probably be enough with Ragnell to beat the Black Knight. Yeah. Didn't even swing his sword. He basically shoved Ike. Yeah. There's a lot of ways Grill could have lived here. If he didn't exert himself too much, he probably could have lived. If Kanegas actually got there and met with them, he also probably could have lived. If Reese was there, he might have lived. Yeah, that too. But suddenly these melee units can cast and teleport? Well, this is bullshit. Well, he has a special powder that mimics the effect of the warp staff. Okay, fair. I feel like that exists as an item in Fire Emblem 10. I'm not sure. I don't remember whether or not that exists in fu uh, item form in Fire Emblem 10. So yeah, that chapter went a lot better than last time. Indeed it did. And not only that, but Oscar got a really damn good level up. Indeed. He got Boyd's good level up, considering Boyd didn't replicate his good level up. Well, I mean, Boyd is doing fine. Oscar is the one that really needs the help. <laughs> Indeed.
Damn, this game has good writing. I'm glad that Jagan's stuck around, at least. Yeah. Also a rare moment of a uh, bit of compassion out of Soren. Indeed. Being there. Soren is cold and calculating, but at least he has one moment of compassion in sticking around with Ike. Yeah. Does this mean convoy? I think so. Yep. Orders the Jagan around. Actually, stat wise, I'm pretty sure I could take Titania in a fight right now. Maybe with the Regal Sword? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Especially if Titania equipped an axe. Well, we have. The one stars literally don't do anything for you, right? I don't know. It's still fun to read. Mustin. Okay, now it's time for my bad habit that I do every time I get the convoy. Anal organization.
I... I... Maybe. Mike doesn't get weighed down, but... Oh no, he does. A bit. I was looking at Might instead of... Wait. He gets weighed down, like, four? Yeah, that is yeah. a bit. He doesn't have as much strength as I expected him to. So should we stick with the Steel Sword for now? Yeah. And Regal. That should be his inventory. He should also get one of the good vulneraries. I'm probably going to sell all the partial vulneraries and just buy fresh ones. Or there's really not a point, or, is there? Or we could give him a one use and a two use. Oh yeah, we're going to need to use somebody as the cell dummy, because we have a lot of shit we want to get rid of. I'm probably going to end up giving the Steel Lance to... Oh, wait a minute, I left that in Retard's inventory, so they do dump their stuff off. Huh. That's nice. I think I'm probably going to have the Tanya use the Javelin and Oscar use the Short Spear, because Oscar needs the... Might. Fair enough. Titania can probably just raw a steel axe so that she has one free slot. Sounds good. You can use that? I might have him use it then. Why not, right? Yeah. I'll probably just have him use a one use. Iron Steel. Oh. Iron Steel. And, uh,. A Vuln. This brings to mind that I never gave her a Vuln. She's also going to have an elixir. Because of who she is. Reese is... I think is pretty obvious. Should we just start spamming this for EXP? Or should we save that for Mist? We should probably save that for Mist, actually. Yeah. I know you like to rush her to level 10 and promote her so you can, she can equip the wind sword. Something like that. I, it's more that I think she gets a mount at level 10 and becomes a mounted healer, which is really valuable. Well, yeah, that too. She gets a mount on promotion. I'm not even going to bother with this shit. You could just sell both of those, Oscar. Oh. No. Anything that's excessively broken, I'll just hand over. We're good. Asher icon, right? Yeah. Do we keep that around? It could be useful, huh? Yeah. And now you're going to have to go directly to the armory. You saw a hand axe with no javelin, you fucking asshole. However, this is fine. Because this means I can actually have Oscar use the javelin and the sh Should I? Yeah, Titania can just use hand axes and then... Do I just give her another? Give her another, give Boyd one. Because this does mean I don't have to waste short spear uses unless it's absolutely necessary. Give Boyd, what, two? Yeah, maybe we just buy some to keep in the convoy. That's not a bad idea, actually. 
like four. It's a bit more than four. Wait, was it? I think. I thought that was exactly four. It was exactly four. Oh. I can count. I was mistaking the sound effects. Is there any point in having you use a slim? No. Armor Slayer for the memes, I guess. Wasn't there? Can we not forge yet? That's a maybe. I'm thinking about it. Right, this is a game with limited supports, right? Yeah. And I do really want... I love... I absolutely adore having Oscar get an A support with Kieran, for obvious reasons. Yeah. I don't know who I want to support with Ike. But it's probably not Oscar. It's probably Boyd, but I can't support him with Boyd. Which is weird. I wonder why that's the case. Who does Boyd support with? Oscar, obviously. And nope, Wolf. not even Oscar. What? That's what? what? Why? This is that's weird. No, seriously, what? Yeah, that's weird. He supports with only Titania. Titania? Titania. Oscar only supports with four dudes? That's surprising. One of them's probably Rolf. Risk, question, and question. Rolf, more like bad. Do I just... Hmm... Ike and Oscar generally aren't that close to each other because Oscar's on a freaking mount. Yeah. That's the only thing I don't like about that. Plus, Earth isn't even good, is it? What does full Earth even give? Like, some defense? I don't know. Thought you were the pro that had literally all of this memorized. Like I said, I don't know... I don't know how it goes in... We have so much bonus XP. Do we just get everybody to 99? Or get a couple people to 99? Or save it? It could soar in a couple levels. Remember, bonus levels only give three stat increases, exactly. I thought that was Radiant Dawn. Googling it. I can never remember. Right, I think it was Radiant Dawn, and that was actually a good thing because it was three guaranteed stats. Where it's like you would cap out a stat, and then you would use bonus experience to get points and other useful stats. Yep, passive radiance units that receive bonus experience level up like normal. You're right. So there's no point in doing that efficient to get them to 99 shit. We can just level them up raw. Yeah. Who really needs the strength? Probably Soren? Probably. Damn. Really? I just want him to be good enough to double reliably with good damage. 
Come on! Starting to overstay your welcome a bit, Soren, buddy. <clears throat> okay. Do we just get under 10 and call it good? Yeah. Jeez. Okay, I'm a fan of this. That's a good soaring. Yes, yes. Do we help like Oscar my... a little? I think we help Oscar a little. Yeah. But yeah, that soaring is like how my fucking Lolina was turning out in Binding Blade. Oh my god! I just want double digit strength. If I can get double digit strength, I will be happy. Thank you. <clears throat> Do we help Boyd out a little bit? Yeah. His speed's kind of lagging behind. Speak of the devil. I'll take it. <laughs> Do we just chill now? Yeah, let's chill. Does anybody want Miracle? I believe this is a game where you can literally, yeah, give and take at will. Or it disappears if you remove it. Should we try that? What does Serenity do? Should we just remove Tempest since it's a shit skill anyway and test it? Yeah. Oh. That's annoying. You're right. So is Miracle based on luck in this game? All right, Google? Yeah, please Google it for me. Because that's not a very good description. FireEmblemWiki.org says luck percent. Okay. I'd say I'd give it the miss, but she gets it by base, I'm pretty sure. I would imagine so. The glow. The MacGuffin glow. You know, honestly, new headcanon. She's holding the, uh... She's holding the Lunar Portal from Risk of Rain 2's bloom effect in her hand. <laughs> Great theory. 10 out of 10. God, though, that thing is way too fucking bright on the, uh, ice... Oh, on the frozen stage. <laughs> Speaking of pull axe, I forgot to give it to Boyd, but I can give it to him now. Or do yeah. I give it to Titania? Also, don't mind me casually pronouncing her name differently every time I say it.
I don't actually know how it's supposed to be pronounced. I pronounce it like titanium, but without the M. So titania. Yeah. I do know that some people, some people have that name and it's pronounced <laughs> Titania for them, but I'm not sure if that's the case here. Titania makes it sound sound Russian. For some reason. Who? Real talk though. Who gets the pole axe? Her or Boyd? Let's see stats. Ah! Which of them has more skill? I'll base it on that. Okay, yeah. Enjoy your new Polax to ti Titania. Though, honestly, that feels like a waste. Because Boyd could get so much EXP from all those, uh... You know. Let's think about this. What were your stats? Weight 18. It'll do 20 against the... So what are your stats? 3 speed. You would have 3 speed with the pole axe, which is... Not okay. But do these guys get weighed down? Oh, yeah. A lot of them do, actually. Yeah, most of them won't double them. Wait, how are your next guys? They won't, I just did the math. Three brings the speed down to four. Iron Sword will. Alright, so... Do they die instantly is the question. Because here's the thing. Eight defense plus twenty-four HP. Because twenty plus uh, eleven is thirty-one damage. All right, so thirty-one damage minus. It's not enough. Eight. It's barely not enough. F. And some of them have nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why? He got you one run? point of strength. That would have been just enough to one-shot the Iron Axe guys. I guess I do want to get to this retard eventually anyways. Ah, I really... I want to do it. But it's so dangerous. Well, only one of these... Only one of these actually double them. However, they all hit him because Kanto. I feel like that's a bit too much punishment for Boyd's. And he... Yeah. We could compromise by having him only take the hits from the Axe guys and the Javelin guys. We actually can do that. Barely. You've convinced me. Now, how do we want to handle this? There's a lot of, of heat on all oh, that's sides. A, I saw a Polax on their side. Good eye. So, uh, whoever goes over here, his name is not going to be begin with an O or a T. Yep. And these, do I see a bad unit? Where? Oh, you mean her? Is she really that bad? Well, I don't know. Let's see. 8 mag, 1 strength, 9 speed. 8 mag, 1 strength, nine. Yeah! Yeah, she's pretty bad. But it's Ike who recruits her, right? Yeah, so I want Ike... A combination of Ike and... More Sorn? Ike to go over there. Okay, yeah, Sorn. Over here... We are never getting out of here if Oscar plugs this. I could have Oscar plug it in uh, Titania support with her uh, her frisbee. Yeah, honestly, 
Titania could go back and forth between supporting Oscar and Boyd. Indeed. So Boyd goes there and everybody else is in position. We good? Uh... What are we gonna do with Mia? She's gonna look pretty sitting on the pr on the glowing green square. What the fuck is she gonna- like, honestly, what's she gonna do here with all the armor knights and, uh... Well, I mean, she could be useful on the left side after the armor knights are killed. I suppose! Can we go? Yeah. Do I just equip the Regal Sword since he's going to be going up against these guys immediately? Yeah. Order? Oh, right. That's the bad button you don't click. Do I have Oscar Javelin here because of the soldiers? Or, I mean, archers? One of them has a longbow, that's annoying. In that case, there's not much value in doing that, is there? Yeah. Well, I mean, he can... Yeah, yeah, not, not yet, anyways. Wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, I saw that. Mia can look pretty. I like how this strategy is literally integral to one of the speed level ups Boyd got, because he just barely doesn't get doubled by some of these guys. Why did you- what? What? <laughs> okay. Oh, that guy's a javelin. Yeah, he's the one guy with a javelin in this pack. Ready to see this one damage? Oh, four! Remember, we got like... We got like strength on him. There's our one damage! Yay! <laughs> yeah. Ready to die, punk? Actually, he might not die. Oh, right, weapon triangle. Boy, it's probably fine to sit here. Honestly, yeah. Because none of them do that much damage to him. Like, heck. Heck, we can just have Titania throw a frisbee at the armor knight. Should Boy just. Vuln? Oh! It's fine, I can give him to Titania's. Yeah. I Thing is, because of the ja existence of the javelins, I can't exactly... Well, that's annoying. Was that a Minx math moment? No, I was going to do that either way, but... You do kind of need them. I don't want to put him in there, because then he can get targeted by the javelin or the two bows. I do just need to. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Reese can heal, then Mia can shove Reese. 
out of the way. You're a fucking genius. I want you to know this. <laughs> I try. <laughs> Wait, other side. Why does that matter? Oh, right. Actually, I don't think it matters either way anyways, because I don't think archers can shoot over these barriers. Oh, yeah, and then Oscar can just... It's probably safe to get Oscar in here, because at worst he faces, what, a solitary bow? You mean Soren? Yes, what'd I say? Oscar. Oh. Do I just Kill win? Kill the one with more HP. Kill the one with more HP? Yeah. Can I just... Epic. Wait, Ike wasn't low, right? He wasn't low, low. But he wasn't that full. That's bad. Hopefully it doesn't matter. He does have good res and defense. I'd be really sad if the run ended here. I'd be equally uh, sad if Boyd died. Uh. Epic. That really sucks. Oh my fucking god. Well, good night, everybody. Is that it, then? I do think that's it. So what are we supposed to do now? Uh, I could use the restroom and we could play Risk of Rain. Well, we're just going to consider that the legitimate end of the series. We're not going to try to actually beat it. Uh, we could try again some other day. Well, you don't want to try again today? Nah. That's a big ouch. I can't believe I lost this chapter of all things. God, that's annoying. Ah, oh, why? Oh, that's awful. Well, I guess I'll just go fuck myself then. <laughs>